Uh, it's uh, obviously um, exploring uh, new and distant places, and uh, but at first, I mean, that's that's you know when you're younger, that's what I wanted to do. I saw Neil Armstrong walk on the moon, and uh, you know I looked at my mom and said, hey, I, I want to do that. I had to create my own opportunities, and so when I, I got my first job when I was nine years old, and then I was working pretty much full time by the time I was 14. You know, if I wanted a bicycle, I had to go find the parts, put it together, and make it work right. So I did that. Not only was it a good bicycle, but it was the best bicycle in the neighborhood. It could ride wheelies and it could go over jumps and ride through the woods. It could do whatever. And I did everything on, on that. I uh, graduated high school from Blue Hills Regional Vocational Technical High School, uh, just south of uh, Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, really good experience here, working with a lot of machines and, and technical design and things like that. And, uh, got a lot of uh, after school jobs uh, doing technical things, so it was, it was a really good experience. Uh, moved on into engineering at uh, Southeastern Massachusetts University, now called uh, University of Massachusetts. They changed over uh, in mechanical engineering. Uh, again, another great opportunity. Had some great mentors there, uh, folks that I still keep in touch with to this day, professors, um, you know, deans, uh, all those folks, presidents, uh, all those folks that run the school. Uh, just, a, just a great facility and great people. Then uh, I moved on to Purdue uh, University, uh, again in mechanical engineering with a specialty in fluid mechanics and propulsion. And, you know, I cleaned um, um, uh, a bakery at night, you know, between midnight and six in the morning when I was uh, just getting into high school. And then, uh, and then graduated that opportunity up into uh, actually making bagels and bread and things like that. And all of that, um, funded my first year or two of, uh, of college, and uh, without which I, I would not have gone. And so as a, at a young age, I realized that if I wanted to get somewhere, if I wanted to get to be an astronaut, I was gonna have to start working early and hard to make it happen. Uh, in college, uh, we had a very tight um, um, engineering group, and it was so tight that we started pulling people in from other disciplines, you know, computer science, um, uh, you know, business and things like that. It was, the camaraderie was absolutely incredible and the support that we gave each other was absolutely uh, incredible. I did a little bit of Kung Fu for about three years uh, there because it was active and it was physical and it was something different that I wanted to try. I was in a rock band, played lead guitar uh, all the way through college. Uh, we had, you know, several gigs uh, in and out of Boston, Providence, you know, up and down the East Coast there a little bit. And that was, uh, that was actually a pretty good team activity too. I actually enlisted when I was 18 years old and I spent my summers uh, going to training in Chicago and you know Japan and some other places where wherever my unit deployed. Uh, and then I did one to two weekends a month. Yeah, every uh, every Navy squadron and Air Force squadron they have uh, um, names. Uh, you know the F-14 squadrons, Jolly Rogers, the Top Hatters. Those are all F-18 squadrons now, by the way, because F-14 went away. Um, uh, but the uh, at VX9, uh, uh, they called themselves uh, the Vampires, um, just because that's just what they were. We did a lot of um, of uh, testing of systems uh, and vehicles um, at night uh, for missions that no one would see. I want to see what's over the horizon. I want to see uh, new places. I want to meet new people. I want to create new technology. I want to be part of the future. I want to have an impact on the future.